back at it here at the end of the week it's a Friday evening this week we've had a little bit cooler temperatures uh, overnight so it's been about low 70s uh, during the day and then at night it gets down into the 40s hopefully we can see some deer tonight uh, just excited to be back in the woods back at it here and dad was out earlier this week a couple times with one time he saw three buck uh, now they were too far they were over 100 yards away um, but he saw three buck and one of the buck was a smaller buck, but he was chasing two doe around. So um, we might be getting out of this October law, maybe into a little pre-rut action would be nice. Hopefully get some deer moving. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I uh, feel pretty good. Back up in the woods on an edge line of a cornfield. So um, had luck here a couple years ago getting a buck out of here. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we can get lucky again. A buck sneaking by through here, or even a doe. Uh, still got a doe tag to fill for this area, so my dad will be taking out the muzzle or tonight Just got the old trusty bow, which is just fine with me and uh, Hopefully see something Wrapping up the evening here, I uh, saw those four doe right there before the end of the day. Um, that was about it. They were out about 50, 54 yards. Um, it was just, I mean, you could tell by the video, it was too thick to even get a shot at them, and they were moving through. So, um, at least we saw something. I'll be back right here in the same exact spot tomorrow morning. Um, So back out of here Friday night. This is actually where I shot my first doe at, where I missed those other doe also. You'll see in the other videos. I haven't been here for about a week and a half or so now, maybe two weeks. So the deer should be coming through here uh, pretty regular now. It's been uh, pretty long and dry here for about a week and a half, two weeks for us. So my dad's out. He's out in the woods too tonight. A little bit of a breeze. Leaves are changing color. Things are uh, definitely getting closer to the rut. We'll see what happens tonight. See if we can catch one sneaking through here or not.
looks like I'm back at it on missing deer. I don't know what it is about this stand, but man, I sure miss him out of here. Uh, that doe came right into me. Um, I saw her ways out. She came in, as you can tell by the video, she was walking around for a while. Got right underneath my stand, and, uh, and then she was leaving, and that was like the only place I could shoot her, the way she was leaving. She was going to go out, and I was never going to get a shot at her again. And uh, she was at about 9, 10 yards, and uh, it went right over her back. Um, I thought for sure I aimed low enough, because you know at that, I'm shooting down, I'm 25 feet up in the tree, so it's a hard angle down. It's a tough shot, but I thought I had it. My 20 yard pin down low enough, but uh, it obviously wasn't low enough, so. Uh, put that one up was another miss. I sure love to do that out of the stand. We are packing her up. I watched that video of, or the film of watching that doe. Um, I think a lot of, well, I know a lot of that <clears throat> came from uh, self-filming, just in that little bit. I think I learned a lot. Um, first, I couldn't get that doe um, right away. I mean, I saw her 60 yards out, 50 yards out, and uh, I just couldn't get her on camera for some reason, whatever reason that was. She was up oh, she, she was up at like 30 yards by the time I could find her on the screen. And then uh, I had some nice clear spots at like 22, 24 yards. And, uh, but I just wasn't, the camera wasn't ready, and I didn't have my draw. Um, a bow drawn back or anything so and then she came over she was working away to the left thought there's some more areas and she she did stop for a second and where I could have stopped her too and um, but I just the camera was in the wrong spot it just didn't work out that I couldn't stop her and I was nowhere close to even getting my bow drawn back and then she came to my stand and then she worked her way out around me here behind me and uh the, pot, the spot that you did see that I shot her at, that's like, I, it's like eight, nine yards behind me, and I'm 25 feet up, so it's, I mean, I aimed down below her stomach, but it's such a steep angle that I got to aim even lower, and watching the film, it looks like she even ducked a little bit, and that arrow just, I mean, there might even be just little hair nubs down there, but, uh, it just grazed over her back, just right over her back, so. And and the video wasn't even that great. I was zoomed in way too much on her. I got to pan out, so. Uh, I'm going to chalk that one up to a, lot, a big time learning lesson there. Uh, f filming and things to zoom, zooming in and out, how to get her on the screen quickly. Uh, tomorrow we're headed down a new property, uh, down towards Philly, so. Gonna try that out, see what we can do, see what we can find. All right, so we're back at it here. <clears throat> it's uh, early Saturday morning. It's about an hour till shooting light. Um, down here in a new spot we haven't hunted this year yet. I'm overlooking a field right now. Just a regular cut grass field. Um, and then my dad, he's down in some woods. So hopefully we get to see something. Uh, once again, this is another small property. I think this is like an eight to ten, ten acre property with some housing on it and what, um, a couple small patches of woods in this field. So we'll see if there's any deer moving through. So, just made another amateur cameraman move, but uh, that's all right. We, the end result's the same as we we wanted and the reason we go hunting. So, I got video of that four-point buck that was out here for a while. While I was filming that buck, my camera card got filled up. 
a buck went back in the woods. I was gonna try to delete some things, off, some video off of here that I didn't need. Uh, but as I did that, four doe came up from the same spot that buck was. They were just a little bit farther down that four doe came up. And they came out to like 30 yards or so from me. And then that buck come flying out of the woods, grunting at him and everything. And then, <clears throat> so that buck isn't legal to shoot in Pennsylvania. It's got to have three on one side. And he was just two on either side. So I couldn't shoot him. And there's three big doe and a smaller doe come up. Um, he started chasing him around. A doe got within, I don't know, 17 yards of me. So I put an arrow through her, one of the big ones. And uh, I'm f f hunting over this open field here. She took off, she ran down the hill, she's 60 yards down, she, she died. So um, so that's good, we got one. Finally, we get the end of a little bad streak here. Some more good news, uh, Dad actually shot a doe too. Right when that buck came out, he called me. So hopefully we got two deer down. He didn't see his fall, but pretty sure it's a good shot. So hopefully two deer down. Um, I'll give you a little quick video here of what happened and how it happened. Uh, this is the open field that I'm hunting out of. Those, that buck was right in here. Came out and then went back in. Those doe came out, came right up into here on the other side of this pile. And I got branches here, I can't shoot there. And then that buck come flying out of the woods and was grunting and snorting at them doe, separated them, and one actually ran to like right here. And I shot her. I think you might be able to see my arrow. I got a luminoc on it. Um, that's where the deer was shot, right in there. And then it actually ran down. Let's see if we can find it here. And it's actually right there. Right there was the doe that I shot. She seemed to be pretty good size. She wasn't the biggest one, but um, there was actually what I think would be a bigger one. Um, but she never got close enough. That's the one that the, the, that the buck was chasing around. So, um, but hey, we got one. That's the good news. And uh, so yeah.